um, an integration between Project Track, which is our main app, and the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant. The structure of the, present the presentation is going to be like this. At the beginning, we are going to give you some, some context to set the scene, and then we are going to give you some insights about how to develop the integration and what to do when the integration is ready and it's live in the marketplace. And finally, some takeaways. So, please, Leo, can you go ahead? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, before to start, um, I would like to, to put ourselves in the same context. What is the, the JCNA? What, what the JCNA means uh, is a Jira Cloud Migration Assistant. It's a Lassian app that allows customers and solution partners to move data from data center and server to cloud. And as vendors, as developers, you can include your data, you can include your um, app's configuration into the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant. Okay, um, when if you want to build a migrator, the step zero is to know if your customers really want to go to the cloud, and if your customers really want to move their data to cloud, because not always is necessary. In our case, we, we found interest in Project Track, but for example, in other apps like Sporter, we didn't find any interest in our customers. So please, before to start building and investigating, uh, ask to your customers, we use our support, and we ask them about the, the migration, about, about what data they wanted to move to the cloud, because not everything is important. Um, when we decided to, to create a migrator for Project Track, the next step was to, to do a deeper um, investigation about what is the best way to, to move data from the data center or server to cloud. You can create your own migrator or you can use the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant. In our case, we finally decided to use the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant because um, to build your own migrator is very expensive. We estimated, uh, I don't remember, it takes seven months building our, um, our migrator and finally, we decided to use the, the Jira Cloud Migrator for, for this reason. But also because the Jira Cloud Migration Assistant is a centralized platform that makes easier the migration process to customers and solution partners. So for this, uh, our recommendation is to use the JCMA. OK, the next step is to know what data you have to move to the cloud, what data you have to include into the migrator. For this, um, we, we go, went to the to our analytics um, tool, and we tried to find the most important feature, the feature that was used by the most important customers. And with all of this data, we create a backlog, and we started with the development process, so, Alvaro. Okay, thank you, Leo. So now let's talk about how to develop the integration and some insights here. And first of all, it's important that we all understand how the platform works. And for that, if you want to integrate your app with the ACMA platform, you should start developing here in the server version or data center version of your app. And there you have to decide the data you want to migrate. After that, the migration platform, which is in the center of the image right there, it's going to get this data, it's going to put it into a file, and it's going to upload this file to the Amazon cloud, right there. Then the platform is going to contact the cloud version of your app, and you will have access to that file and now it's time for the cloud version of your app to start creating the data you want to migrate. And let's keep talking about data because now it's important to talk about the things you want to migrate. And maybe some of them are related with Jira entities. If it's your case, you should know that Jira entities may have different IDs between data center and cloud, and you have to take it into account. For that, we have mappings. They are 
here with to, to, to help us in, in this task. Okay, you can see it's an example right here. Um, these mappings are going to be, we, we can get it in every migration run because the platform are going to, to give us them. Next, let's, let's talk about the two strategies you can follow regarding the scope of the migration, full migrations or incremental ones. Two years ago, we went for the full migration because it was easier in the beginning. Every time a migration is run, every entity is going to be recreated. And it was good, but now there are a lot of enterprise customers that are migrating or are planning to migrate from data center or server to cloud. And these enterprise customers are not looking to do it at once. They are looking to migrate step by step. For that, now we allow incremental migrations and they are a little bit more complex because you have to take care and be sure that you are not overwriting data in every migration run. Previously migrated data should not be, should not be overwritten, so take care of that. Okay, so we have been talking about the platform, about the data you want to migrate, and also about the strategy you can follow. And now it's time to talk about reporting and how are you are going to inform admins about the progress of the process. Here, the important thing is that you can contact the platform every time you want during the process, and you can report the progress, but not only the progress. Our recommendation is that you inform the admin about the set of data you are migrating in this particular moment. This way, admins are going to trust more, more in this process and also in your app. In the other hand, you should do something to implement a failure recovery strategy because problems may be there. And this is especially important if you are trying to do an incremental migrator because for a full migrator, it's almost there. If there's any problem, you can rerun the migration and everything is going to be recreated. Next, it's time to mention that migrations are really critical processes for your customers. If there's a, a problem in a migration, their business may be at risk. So please take care and test and test and test again your migrator before releasing it the first time or improving it in the future. For that, we created a realistic data center environment with lots of data and we Try to be sure that when we put it in production, it's going to work as expected. And finally, you need to have an agile mindset. I'm pretty sure that some of your apps are big enough and you have a lot of data to migrate. And it's going to be a difficult task to, to migrate everything from the first version of the migrator. Okay, you can do it step by step. As Leo was mentioning, there's an important thing that is collecting the data that is the main core of your app and our recommendation is firstly migrate this data and then keep improving your migrator time by time. And now it's time to talk about what to do when we release the, the migration. So, Leo, please. Okay, thank you, Alvaro. Um... We think that migration is not only about moving data from server or data center to cloud. We, we think that migration is a, is a full concept. You have to, to build a cloud version of your product and you have to build a migrator. And our recommendation is to use the, the JCMA. But also, the, um, what happens after the migration has been built it is very important. For that, we created a specific request type in our customer portal in order to accelerate or to solve this kind of problem before the other ones. Also, we include uh, a new SLA only for migration problems um, because, uh, as Alvaro mentioned, is, migration is a very critical task. So, if a customer, if a solution partner is having problems with the migration, probably he, they need um, a solution. Okay. 
Alassian will ask you for a feature parity, um, for a, a migration, migration path. Um, keep in mind that um, to be in cloud, the same as you have in data center, something is not possible. It's cloud. Uh, you can perhaps you can do more things in data center, but there are other ways to to give solutions to your customers, and for example, uh, through workarounds or through integration with other apps. And this is some example in our case. We we have uh, we have created some integration with the script runner or with other apps in order to to give the same solution in cloud as the customer have in, in data center. Um, we are using Jira Product Discovery for, for our ideas, and um, our recommendation is to keep a continuous research. Yesterday in the keynote was mentioned that um, in some cases, some customer will be in data center before to go to the cloud. So we think that this feature is a long time feature, not only one year, two years, but we, we think that the migration will be here for a time. So. Um, try to know if your customers need to move new data or new, need, need to create new features on cloud that they had in data center before uh, because it's, it's important to take it in account for your roadmap. Um, we are using Grafana to measure uh, our services in order to know problems before the, our customer ask us for them. Uh, this is an example. Uh, we are trying to keep 90% uh, of successful migrations. And um, the most important on this is if your customers are having problems, you can contact them before. Uh, if we find a Skype, uh, a spike, sorry, in, the, um, uh, in this report, we try to contact them. Okay. Um, it's very important. Um, to follow the JCMA updates, uh, the JCMA in the marketplace, but also the CDAC, the early access programs, because an update in the in, in the Gira Cloud Migration Assistant can affect your migration process. So keep in mind, um, before to finish, some takeaways, please. Um, everything that you are going to do regarding migration should have um, to have all of the decisions have uh, taken mind the data. If you have to create a migrator, what that, what configurations or what data you have to move, please uh, migrate based on data. As we mentioned during the talk, migration is a critical task. Uh, so help to the solution partner, help to your customers to accelerate the tickets or the problem with the migration. And we think this is a long time feature. Perhaps we are going to receive tickets in the next year, in the next three years, or in the next three years uh, regarding the migration. And keep a continuous improvement, continuous research mindset because customer will ask you about new features related to the migration. Well, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.